Jamie has been on the hunt for a new pest control permission, and it looks like he's found one at Acorn Shooting Ground. They have a problem with some small saboteurs with a particular pastime. <laughs> I'm now in the process, at quite, quite a serious expense, of switching um, to remote controls rather than cables. Purely, they, they're chewing the cables. And, but yeah, it's, it's annoying. I imagine with sort of problems from uh, rabbits, etc., you might well have some form of vermin control program. Uh, not, not a program as such, other than shooting them whenever we see them, really is the problem. But being busy, I'm always busy, I don't really get time to do it. So it'd be quite helpful, someone like yourself, if you've, if you've got the time to sit there and wait to actually shoot them, would be fantastic for me. Fantastic. Well, let's go and have a look and thanks for the opportunity. As I've never actually been up to Des's before, um, looking for vermin, although I've shot here um, with the clays quite a lot, I've decided to travel quite light. So today I've brought with me my uh, BSA R10 in 2-2 flavour. Um, I actually am falling more and more in love with this gun the more I use it. It is, uh, for me, one of the easiest, most simple things to use. Not sure exactly what we're going to find. Expecting to be able to have to sit um, still in a height for a while. Also expecting to have to do some stalking. So again, mixed bag, let's see how we get on. Zeroing before you shoot with an air gun is probably the most important thing. Oh. <laughs> That'll do. Bob on. Keen as ever, Jamie is straight into hunting mode. To be honest with you, the wind direction is pants, but because they're very rarely shot here, hopefully you won't be too bothered by my scent. Plus the fact that my wife says I don't wash enough, so wish me luck. Unfortunately, that was a big fat miss, uh, partly because I was wobbling too much, partly because there's a camera on me and I got a little overexcited. But what it does actually prove is how much signs down there. Um, there is an awful lot of rabbit activity down there. We can turn the poo and everything else. So um, certainly a worthwhile stalk, if not unfortunately empty handed this time. Uh, carry on from here. We've noticed that the rabbit warrens or the rabbit runs are coming out of there and into the water meadows here. We're going to stick around here for a bit, see if we can find anything coming out here. If not, we're going to go back up to the stables where we saw quite a few disappear when we turned up here and see how we get along there. To help with filming and with spotting, Jamie has brought along his mate Tom that seems to be having much better luck, but not with the right quarry. Lucky shot. Oh, I didn't know what skill that was. You've never used an air gun before? Transferable the skills, aren't they? You borrowed my lucky cap. Uh, if you say so. My other lucky cap. I think I'm a born natural. I think you're born something. Not to be outdone, it looks like it's time to go full camo mode, and it seems to be working. <laughs> now, target identification is very important when shooting. But Jamie, what's that? Rabbit. Oh. Rabbit. Oh, where the hell did that hit? And that, my friend, is how to nail rabbits. So just to clarify, that's two rabbits to me. Pigeon to you. I've just come walking down from the gate over there and I've scared off about eight or nine pigeons from the telegraph wires above me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this dark little barn over here as a hide without nets or anything like that, just sit in the shadows and hopefully they're going to fly around and come back in. To be honest with you, that wasn't quite the hotspot I'd hoped. We had three or four chances. Unfortunately, I fluffed most of them. Um, 
I'm going to go and try and retrieve the pigeon I actually got from over there, but there's an awful lot of standing wheat over there, and I've got a horrible feeling he's dive bombed in there, and I don't really want to go and trample that down. Sadly, that does look like it's going to be lost to the crops, that one. Heading back towards the stables, Jamie spots a bunster just on the edge of a paddock, but it's nearly 50 yards away. Are you on the camera? <laughs> Did you get that? Who's got the lucky cut now? Look at you, by the, by the looks of things. Do you want a girlfriend? <laughs> no thanks, you keep them both. Yeah, look at that. Uh, and you mocked air guns, sir. You mocked air guns. I yeah. I had a fantastic 49 yard shot. Tom managed to get his lucky or unfortunate pigeon, depending on your on your background. Des is going to be chuffed. These guys aren't going towards anything more or any cables more, but they are going to be going towards a fine dining evening at the Tally Ho. It shows you what you can achieve if you keep your ears and eyes open. Des just happened to make a passing comment about this and we asked if we could come and have a look. He said yes and from there hopefully we've opened up a permission that they'll be happy for us to come back and bag squirrels, rabbits, pigeons, who knows on, for a while. Right in the middle of uh, shooting season, right on one of the busiest Hampshire estates there is. So absolutely delighted and look forward to seeing you on the next one.